to have you all on this journey with us um, in, in whatever ways you feel could be most beneficial. We really see ourselves and have a vision for being a hub of resources. So if you come to us and we have that resource, whether it's through one-on-one -on -one coaching, group coaching, couples coaching, um, whether it's through the Bible studies that we're doing, whether it's making one-on-one -on -one connections based on our testimonies and or us being able to pour into you through that, um, whatever it is. Let's get this party started. Oh. Ready? Sure, we're going to pray first. Oh. Father God, we just come to you in gratefulness and thankfulness for all that you've done for us in 2022. And we just thank you for all that you're going to do in 2023. We ask that you just you bless me and show that your Holy Spirit speak through us so that other people are able to receive. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. What's up, beautiful people? Shell and Aaron here at A Radical Relationship. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> Um, happy New Year. Welcome to 2023. We are so excited to be back. Took some needed few weeks to Wusa. <laughs> and I had laryngitis, so we had to take a break because I couldn't speak for like two weeks. It wasn't giving what it was supposed to give, okay? It was giving... Just take a break. So we did that, um, had some wonderful time to just sort of recharge over the holidays and just kind of vision cast and goal set for the new year. Um, I know I personally just feel really recharged. Um, I have been just like really discouraged, especially coming into the new year, just about different things. So just having some time to lay those things aside and gain some perspective and um, just you know, journeying through some of those things with God was really helpful. So now we're back. Yes, and also during that break, um, I personally got some wonderful news. Um, that's going to give me a really good testimony that I'm about to share with you guys. So praise God for that. Yes, yes, yes. So um, our first quarter focus for the radical community is on how to lead a full life. Um, that's the overarching focus. But specifically in the first quarter, we're going to be talking about purpose. So how to lead a full life and then through the lens of purpose. Um, so in our Bible studies in the radical community, we're going to be doing um, topics around that. By the time you're seeing this on Thursday, you have just missed the first Bible study on Wednesday on sacrificing your purpose. So if you'd like the replay of that, let us know. Um, and then just also if you'd like to stay in the know in the future regarding the Bible studies we do on the first Wednesday of every month uh, feel free to hop in the Facebook community men and women we we'd love to have you there so for this video to kick off the new year we just wanted to talk a little bit about journeying with God and purpose um, we both have our own stories around what those individual journeys have looked like and then just kind of a combined story as well of what that continues to look like um, in marriage so kind of want to talk about a little bit of that specifically with Aaron's um, current circumstance and testimony in the making and then also just share just personal insights that we've gained in our time away that has really influenced our perspective for how we're approaching things in 2023 so babe you want to start um yeah sure so you know shortly after um getting married i had to leave my old job um at adult teen challenge and it had been a little rough you know, um, but I've been praying for the right job, not just any job, but the right job. So, you know, that is the one thing, you know, that kept my kept me afloat is really just putting my faith, knowing that God was going to show out that he was going to do for me what I knew he was going to do. And because, um, you know, it's, it's discouraging when I'm just getting turned down job after job after job. Jobs that I'm overqualified for, you know, just like what's going on? Like, why God? Even the things that I thought were like man this is from god he wants me to have this job you know this is what i'm supposed to be doing i can see like i could picture myself doing these things you know that's like the vision that i had 
I was like, man, this is what I think, what I want for myself. But then God was like, but that's not what I want for you. And it's crazy because when God shows you what he wants for you, it's so much better than what you think that you want for yourself. And it's so much more fulfilling. And, you know, like the excitement that comes with it is just, man, I get cold chills just thinking about it because I'm, I've never been this excited. Like, it's, you know, aside from marrying this wonderful woman, um, it's just the excitement that came with um, this new thing that I'm going to get into in a minute is, is just great. Um, but yeah, you know, there's also other things that came with it, you know, getting turned down from these jobs. I was like, man, it has to be a God thing. That's what I was putting my hope in. This has to be God shutting these doors because it just didn't make sense to me. Um, why, you know, it wasn't panning out. And it also allowed me to spend more time uh, with Shell and invest more time in the ministry and just focus on my relationship with God. Um, and, you know, it gave me insight into some other things. You know, if I didn't apply for some of these jobs and get turned down, I wouldn't have known that, you know, I had a background check a mile long, which, you know, praise God, we went home um, during this Christmas break to see my family. And I was able to get like 10 different things um, expunged off my record, which is pretty much clean now. So just things like that, helping me to get prepared for the future. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, if I didn't have that job, you know, I wouldn't have been pursuing this thing um, that I've been pursuing so wholeheartedly. So some of you might know I'm in Tucson right now, I'm going to school to be a minister. And part of the, the process is an internship. And I think that if I would have had a job, I wouldn't have been pursuing this internship um, with the heart that I had been pursuing it. And it's such a blessing because, man, like, the place I wanted it to be at is exactly where it is. And this church, uh, the pastor called me um, a couple weeks ago and was like, hey, you know, um, when you want to get started. So that was just, it was great. So I'm going to get started uh, doing my internship, hopefully here pretty soon um, in January. It's a three month long process. And I'm hoping that, you know, that might turn into a job or a job opportunity or something. All I know is that I'm on the right path and I have this wonderful wife that supports me because, you know, it's not about having a job, but about having the right job, about, ha you know, about answering the calling that God has placed on your life, no matter what hardships get in the way and just continuing to pursue that. Yeah, um, definitely a journey definitely a process i think uh, there are times when you get in the middle of things that don't make sense and so with how things are going to aaron's point the only explanation is that man this has to be a god thing um i think similarly for me when i first quit my corporate job back in july my plan was to go into a uh, full-time entrepreneurship for myself and coaching with a radical relationship and then got pivoted to a, a Christian nonprofit that I now work for and have since been able to see why God wanted that pivot and the way that it's going to set me up for success in the future but much like Aaron that wasn't my plan you know um and and that can be interesting too because on one hand, it's like, I mean, it's a job, you know, so it shouldn't be frustrating. But at the same time, it, it wasn't my plan. It wasn't my dream. It wasn't the direction that even I felt God was leading me in originally. Um, and I had done a reel talking about anticipating and being OK with God's pivot. And so we've just been having to live that out in very real ways here, um, just in the, the first few months of marriage. And then, Aaron, I know you wanted to share a little bit about the devotional that we were um, listening to a couple of days ago and just sort of that perspective shift for mm -hmm. us and whatnot. Yeah. And also, I'd like to touch base on, you know, some of those things that, you know, I was discouraged by. I know that you were discouraged by some other things um, and whatnot. And me and Shell having completely different perspectives. Um, my perspective was like shifted the other day by this Bible study. It was just um, it was really powerful. Um he was talking about Gideon um, and the Midianites, you know, um, at first there was like a one to four odds. Um, and, you know, they could have won that battle and been boastful, you know, like, hey, we did that because we're skillful warriors, you know, because we're, 
we're the best or whatnot. But God kept stripping away his army, kept stripping away his army until it was, the odds were one to 450. You know, like it was pretty much evident that man, there's nothing that you could have possibly done in your own power to achieve this. It's all God. He deserves all the credit, all the glory. And we were listening, what's her name? Priscilla Shire um, was talking about this. And I mean, I've been sharing it with everybody because it's, it's just such a great outlook on that story. And it gave me the insight that, man, like going into this new year, many of us are beginning to fast. Um, we're beginning to like think about the things that we want, the goals we want to set for ourselves. And it really just brought to light, you know, about shedding away the things that we think we need in order to achieve something. Shedding away those things like our skills, our talents, the things that, you know, make us who we are and allowing room for God to work. Um, and really so that when he does, it's evident. It's nothing that I did, but it's God and God alone. And really shifting your perspective, you know, Shell likes to set really high um, expectations on everything she does. She's very um, goal driven. And sometimes when I hear, you know, some of the goals she has, I'm like, dang, like, you know, don't be a little disappointed if it don't pan out. Um, I'm thinking, you know, God's called us to the few, not the many. You know, I'm trying to be in this mindset of not being disappointed, um, you know. Um, but really, I should just be in a mindset of, you know, accepting what God gives me, no matter what in the moment, but always be expecting more. Always anticipate more. You know, always be searching um, for God to move in everything that I'm doing, no matter what. So that really just gave me just awesome insight into that and really to set my expectations a whole lot higher. So, you know, instead of setting my goals um, in a way that like most of us, we set goals and they're things that we can achieve. They're things that we can do within our own power, on our own. You know, a lot of us don't think to set goals so high that, you know, it's only God. He's, he's the only way that, is, that that can happen. And so when it does, we have no other option but to give him all the credit and all the glory. Yeah. And for me, I think a lot of that faith journey really looks like, especially in 2023, just um, removing myself in some ways that will be healthy and beneficial in my spiritual walk because it allows more room for the faith. Um, so as opposed to just like grinding really hard and doing a lot of creating and being on point with everything else. Uh, for me, it's really looking like taking a step back, focusing on fewer things that I can be excellent at, not just good at, so I'm not spread too thin. And then with everything else, just allowing so much more room for God to move, so I'm not just like grinding, grinding, grinding every day, which, you know, different seasons come with different things. And, and for me personally, for us, that's the season of 2023. It's not, you know, giving up on different things or anything like that, but it really is just kind of removing self in a way that really makes room for God um, to kind of just do his thing and even blow our minds. And I think, man, we've seen God do so much, um, even in our short time of being together, that it truly only scratches the surface of, of the goals that we have. And so to even think about it is like, man, it is truly a faith walk because it's like, OK, you know, we can believe him in some of the things that we've seen him do in the ways that we've seen him come through. But what about like truly, truly exceedingly and abundantly above all that we could ask or imagine? Like, how do we make room for that? Hmm. So that's kind of what we're going into 2023 with. Still really focused. Um, we still have very specific ways that we are serving the radical community. Again, we have Bible studies going on the first Wednesday of every month talking about purpose in the first quarter. Um, we're doing coaching with people. We're about to launch our group coaching program. But just in all of those things, the one thing that's different is the shift in perspective in how we're approaching those things. So still being obedient and what we've already kind of put our hands to but yeah just just allowing so much more room for God so we would love to have you all on this journey with us um in in whatever ways you feel could be most beneficial we really see ourselves and have a vision for being a hub of resources so if you come to us and we have that resource whether it's through one-on-one -on -one coaching group coaching couples coaching 
um, whether it's through the Bible studies that we're doing, whether it's making one on one connections based on our testimonies and or us being able to pour into you through that, uh, whatever it may be. If you see something that you feel like you could benefit from, let us know. If you don't see something that you feel like you could benefit from, but you're in search of something, let us know. Um, we might sure. know somebody, you know, who's a resource in that in that field and would love to just to just help you grow. Um, I like to say we, we love helping people get close that gap between where they are and where and where they want to be. So reach out um, if you feel like you could use that. Um, so I want to share a little word of encouragement, you know, for those of you that are struggling right now or going through a difficult patch or just having some trouble, you know, going through that trying time uh, like I was previously, you know, um, this year. Just be encouraged knowing that that's building you a testimony that, you know, you don't get anywhere without your testimony. And you consider it like in James, consider it great joy, my brothers and sisters, those through, who go through uh, many trial and tribulation for, you know, it's strengthening your faith um, and whatnot. But when you're going through these hard things, when God like unexpectedly blesses you, that's what gives you the testimony. You know, hey, I was going through this and now look what God did. You know, because if life was always peachy, we wouldn't have a testimony to share. So just be encouraged by that um, so that, and share that with other people, what God's doing in your life and how he's working. And just continue to have that unwavering faith, you know, of always expecting more. I feel like for me, 2023 is... Um, kind of a season of where you know i need to meet god um where he's at and be appreciative and be a good steward of what he's given me but to always be expecting and always to be anticipating abundantly more yeah for sure um and also be encouraged that like every part or every season of the journey is a testimony the mm. testimony doesn't just have to come when you feel like you've realized the thing the testimony can also just be what god is producing in you through the hardship so it may not be like i got this huge blessing it may be man look at how my character is different look at how i've changed look at how i've become more righteous and how i'm leaning on god more through my circumstance like that is significant <laughs> somebody else needs to hear that so just be encouraged um in that as well um we love you all we're appreciative of every single one of you that take the time to just continue to journey with us through youtube if you are not subscribed subscribe, subscribe. subscribe. <laughs> and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe y'all until next time we are out bye y'all yeah,